Hi, I'm Tommy from AmateurLogic.tv. Today I'm going to show you how to send a picture from one D-Star radio to another using the picture sharing mode. It's great technology. It's useful for sending pictures amongst your friends. But more importantly, it's great for emergency communications. For instance, if you're out surveying storm damage, you need to get pictures back to the EOC. It's a great tool to do that. Uh, a lot of uses for it. It's only limited by your willingness to use it and your imagination. Let's get started. In this example, I'm going to use my IC9700 behind me on my desk back here, as well as my ID51 Plus 2. In addition to those, we're going to need a few more things. I've got an Android tablet here beside me that has the ICOM RSMS1A software installed. That software is available for free from the Google Play Store. And we also need a cable. I've got the OPC 2350LU data cable from ICOM. One end has a 2.5 millimeter data jack and the other end has a micro USB cable. This will go between the data jack on the ID51A Plus 2 to the USB port on the tablet. Let's go ahead and hook that up. On the side of the radio, right above where the charging port is, if we pull up the little rubber flap, that's the data port above it. So let's go ahead and hook the 2.5 millimeter data jack into that. And let's hook the other end into our tablet. Right away it knows this is an ICOM cable and it's showing me the two pieces of software that I have installed here that'll work with it. I've got the RSMS1A and the RSMS3A software on here. So let's go ahead and run the RSMS1A since that's what we need for this example. And I'm just going to pick just once because I like it to ask me in case I want to run the other software sometime. I'm using my ID51A Plus 2. You can see on the tablet here that it's actually showing the frequency that's on my handy talkie here. Let's go ahead and change over into DV mode since I'm in FM. This is normally, I use this for my normal FM channel here, but we'll switch mode. So I'll tap the mode button on my radio. It's FM narrow. One more puts me into DV mode. You can see that on the tablet right here. Let's take a look at the 9700. I've got it on the same frequency, 446.3, and I'm also in DV mode. Let's go into the menu. And on page two of the menu, we've got picture. If you don't have picture in the menu on page two, you need to update the firmware of your 9700. This feature came out in version 1.2, so you're going to need 1.2 or later to take advantage of this functionality. We'll touch picture. And we can see a new set of controls down here. On the left, we've got the RX, which is where a picture will show up when we receive one. We've got TX, which are the pictures that are available. Now, there's a picture showing on here because I took a picture of my Arduino project that I built on Amateur Logic a while back. I'm just going to use that picture to send from the 9700 over here to the Android tablet. Let's focus on the send first. So let's go over here to the tablet. We'll touch the menu. Let's go to Share Pictures. And we get a new screen. We've got Send, Receive, Transmit History, and receive history functionality on the screen. We'll just focus on send at the moment. So to send a picture, I'm gonna use one that I took earlier. So let's hold down for one second. Here we've got three options, camera, gallery, and clear the picture. Camera will let us take a picture and send that right away. Gallery will let us pick one that's stored on the tablet and clear the picture will just erase what's on the screen so you can load a different one in. We'll go to gallery just for this demonstration since I already took a picture earlier. And we'll hit gallery there. And I'm going to use this uh, picture that I took earlier. So I just touched it there, as you can see, and it loaded it in. Now we've got a box that we can crop to exclude any details that are unnecessary to reduce the file size. So click done. It's cropping and saving that picture now. Now we've got some other options, picture quality and picture size. We can do low quality and a small picture that will send really fast. I can do high quality and the bigger picture 640 by 480 which will take a little bit longer to send. I ran a quick test with my project picture cropped to fully to the size. It started out with a 44K image. I ran all three file sizes and all three quality settings and you can see the results I got in seconds. Here for this demonstration I'll just pick the middle of the road and go with the middle option on both of those and click OK. Now we've also got receiver. We hit that and I'll just hit CQCQ 
So in DSTAR rules, that'll go to anybody that's listening and, re and receive picture mode would be able to see this picture. And I'm fine with that. I'd like my new radio over here. I'm willing to share the picture so they can see it. I've got position here. What this will do is attach the GPS coordinates and send it with it so that you can see exactly where the picture was taken or sent from. And I'm going to use the GPS or Wi-Fi here for this demo, although we can pick the coordinates from a map or we can manually enter them. I want to use the ones from my ID51A since I've got GPS in it turned on. It put a check mark beside the position box so that we can see that it's enabled. When I touch start transmitting, the ID51A will key up and we'll receive it over here on the 9700. So let's do that. We've got a notice here that says if the GPS on the transmitter is on, both the transceiver location and the picture location will be sent. Let's go OK. We can see the cursor running across the screen. It's sending little individual blocks. Now over here on the 9700, you can see my coordinates and who, who is sending the picture in 5Z and O. On the receive block over here, we see that the picture's being generated on the screen. While that's sending, one cool thing is if there happens to be a little interference on the frequency or something, you do have the ability to go back in here and touch the places on the screen and resend from there on so you can send part of the picture if you need to. Okay, picture's completed. And reset the block to the first one. Over here on the 9700, if we touch the picture that we just received, we can zoom in and see it. If we touch history, we can see the information about it. It came from my station and this is the quality, this is the date and time that we did it. If we hit save, it saves to the memory card that's already in my 9700 here. Let's go the other way now. Let's send my Arduino project over here to the ID51 and the Android tablet. I'll go over here to my tablet, go into receive mode, and we're sitting here waiting. On the 9700, we'll touch the picture. We hit transmit set. That happens to be the only picture I have on my SD card right now. I took that picture a while back when I built the project, and I resized it to 640 by 480, and I put it over into the pictures folder on my SD card and you can see it right here. I took the card out, used the card reader on my computer beside me here. The dimensions of the picture need to be no larger than 640 by 480 and the size cannot be any greater than 200K. Now here the picture we're going to send, I can touch that icon of the picture and we can scroll through any available ones. There's the one that I just received from the other radio here beside me. But I'm going to go ahead and send my Arduino projects so I'm kind of proud of that. We can do the sizes, the 160, 320, or 640 sizes, and I'll pick the middle one again. And picture quality, the same thing, low, standard, and high. Receiver, CQCQ, CQ, using the standard T-star rules for sending. And we go back here. We've got pick TX. If we touch that, it puts an icon at the top. If I hold down the push to talk on the radio, it'll only send it then, and I can let go and it'll cease sending. But I want to send it automatically. If we want to send part of the picture like I was showing on the tablet, we can do that by hitting block. And you can move to the cursor to where it is and it'll send from that point forward. But I want to go back to the first to send the whole picture. So I'll just set for that and we'll go back out. First I'll automatically move it to the front also so you don't have to go through that screen. TXR will send the whole picture without having to hit the push to talk. So that's what I want to do. We'll transmit the remaining blocks, okay? And I'm sitting over here on my tablet in mode to receive, so let's go ahead and do that. You can see it being received over here on the tablet. It's coming from in 5 z and O, and it's using the standard resolution, and there's the date and time. And I want to save the picture of my nice project, so I'll hit save, and it saved it to the gallery on my tablet. It's a fun thing to have to play around with, but there are a lot of practical applications for this technology as well. I hope you'll give it a try. 73.